Pentagon officials say it will take about three days to identify all the remains of 30 U.S. troops killed in Afghanistan Saturday. The bodies were brought to Dover Air Force Base in Delaware yesterday, and President Obama was there, along with top military officials and family members of the troops who died. CBS News national correspondent Chip Reed reports. President Obama touched down at Dover Air Force Base just after 1230. He then motorcaded down the tarmac to the two C-17 transport planes carrying the remains of the 30 Americans. The president's visit lasted about five hours, including meetings with family members. In a recent interview, he acknowledged the professionalism of the team at Dover. So, uh, we're blessed uh, for the great work that people at Dover do, and uh, I think all Americans uh, owe them uh, a great deal of gratitude. And we are now learning more about those killed in Saturday's Taliban attack on the U.S. helicopter over Afghanistan. Navy SEAL Nick Spihar, who was just 24, is remembered as a true patriot by his high school principal. He gave 100% in high school, and he gave 100% to our country. Jason Workman, who was also a Navy SEAL, grew up in Utah, one of four brothers. He would have turned 33 on Friday. He just died doing what he thought was the right thing to do, like all the rest of them. All of them did the same thing. A lot of families like ours are grieving pretty heavily. None of the president's interaction with family members was caught by TV cameras. It was considered private. The media was not invited. Chip Reed, CBS News, Dover, Delaware.